thank you for participating in our little pre-show today. We tried something new. And so uh, can I just see a show of hands with a thumbs up? Did you like that? Did you like doing a little bit of a pre-show? All right, teachers, later let me know what you think as well, okay? All right, here we go. We are starting connection time. So welcome to connection time for January 21st. And it's been an awesome week. Where's Mr. Hennig? Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you. I loved hearing the violin and the corny jokes. They made me laugh. <laughs> oh my goodness, quarterback, crazy. And the, the cashew one, oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. That was awesome. That was. All right, everybody, with Mr. Hennig, I'm gonna unshare my screen so we can see him. And I'm gonna put it in, in I'm gonna put mine in gallery view so that we can see everybody. So here we go. Rise for O Canada. Well done, everybody. It was great to see you all doing along with us. That was awesome to see everyone. And just so you know, because we are recording our connection time, if there's ever a reason you uh, need to take your video off, it's no problem because I'm only able to view um, people with cameras, okay? All right, here we go. Just gonna go back to sharing the screen. All right, we're going to learn together a few things. So here we go. Oh, yes, of course, this month is all about proactivity. Mr. Hennig, do you have anything that you could challenge us with to think about? Well, proactivity is so important. Last time we talked about how, how when something happens that we don't like on the playground or something, it's, it's good to take a pause and that gap to think of making a good plan. Being proactive, though, is also thinking about a problem that kind of could be solved and taking a step to solve it. I think we were doing that because you know what a big problem in our community is that some family don't have enough food to be healthy and to give everybody what they need. So a proactive step then is to support the food bank. And so every time you are bringing some food in for our food drive, you're being proactive because you're helping solve a problem. And so that's very cool. Proactivity is so important and it's a big, big habit we can build to have success in life. Thank you, Mr. Hennig. Yeah, so you can think about all the different ways you're being proactive either at home or at school. So that's a good reminder the food drive, helping the food bank. Wow. Okay, here's a few other things. Lots of words here. So we're going to read these out. So we want to be proactive by letting you know about some stuff. So sometimes being proactive is, yes, problem solving, but it's also not having surprises. We want to let you know about some stuff. So here we go. 2C is now called 2M. They had a name change. <laughs> we have Mrs. Miller. So maybe you've seen her. Uh, she is our new teacher in, in the grade two class. Uh, and so if you see her, you can welcome her and say hi. The, and welcome to we, the, oh, there's, there she is. Mrs. Miller, come, come wave. Let's see you. Come closer. Yes, that's a great idea. Say hi, Mrs. Miller. To unmute so that we can see you. Hello, everybody. That's awesome. Welcome, Mrs. Miller. It's so good to have you back with Cooper's Crossing. 
And Literacy Week starts next week. More information to come later in connection time. As you know, we have guests in our school sometimes because staff are away. So thank you so much for making everyone feel welcome and respected. We see that. Thank you. Mr. Henney, can you say the last two? I'd be happy to. You know what? We see awesome things and learning happening in the school all the time. And in a few minutes, you're going to see uh, some lots of pictures about the great things we're seeing. Also, a proactive tip, make a plan about having a good day before coming to school or having a good recess before going out for recess. I'm not sure if you notice when I welcome you at the front of the day, I sometimes say make today awesome because sometimes if we just wait for awesome to happen, it doesn't. But if we intentionally go and make the day awesome, it's almost always ends up awesome. Even if little things happen that frustrate us, the overall day can be amazing. So let's make today awesome, everybody. Yes, everybody say with us, we're going to say, let's make today awesome. One, two, three. Let's make, let's today, make today awesome. awesome. And that's true. You have to have a mindset. You have to get your mind ready to make things good and awesome and beautiful. And that's being proactive. All right, here we go. We also have learning that we can learn about on the display near the gym. And there's some information about the medicine wheel. Hmm. So what is the medicine wheel to learn more about indigenous perspectives and peoples? And so that could be really cool to learn about. Some of you might already know about that. And so here are some pictures just to give you a little bit of a, a hint about what it might be about. You know what I find cool about this, Miss Prudum? Yes, what? Is that the things I see there in that wheel talking about how we have to stay healthy emotionally and physically and mentally and spiritually, that's not just for Indigenous people. Absolutely. It's that's, good. that's good for all of us. So we can learn from each other and all find balance in our lives to stay healthy and well so i love seeing things that apply to everybody and learning from from our indigenous friends kind of something that can help all of us that's very cool thank you for adding that yes that's right all right and we can also learn a new perspective um, by learning about like like mr hennig said sometimes we learn about our differences and different ways to try new things do new things uh different cultures and so the 5i class yesterday did a sharing circle and they learned a lot about how to honor each other's voices. And so if you have questions and you want to learn more, ask the 5i class. Thank you, 5i class, for your awesomeness during that time. That's awesome. And it's celebrate time. So here we go. Let's see what we have to celebrate. And as you know, there is everything, everything in the school is there's so many awesome things and we can't know everything. Okay, so this is just a snippet. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. People Look at all those things. People have noticed so many awesome things, Mr. Hennig. So, Mr. Hennig, can you read one of these and I'll read I, one? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm going to start with the green one. 4B class for being excited about the partner book study and thanking Mrs. Bournes, thanking Mrs. Bournes for the books. Wow, awesome. Mr. Russ's class saying thank you for spraying their hands at recess without any prompting. His class has amazing manners. That is true. You guys, Mr. Russ's class, amazing manners. There's so many awesome art and projects across the school. We love walking down the, the hallways and seeing the bulletin boards and the displays. Well done. Uh, students in 4-5U and 5-I have had guest teachers for a while now, a week last week and a week this week, and they have been so kind and helpful and awesome. We've noticed and others have noticed. So thank you. It's thank awesome. You. And I think we're able to welcome back Mr. Ulmer today. Mr. Ulmer, welcome back. Is Mr. Ulmer back? I think so. So um, 4B for appreciating Mr. Larson for coming in and loading great Blackfoot videos for us at, on the teacher's computer. I love it when I see students helping each other and when I see teachers and staff helping each other. That's great character in action. I just noticed there's a lot about 4B here. Amazing stuff, guys. You may have got points. <laughs> and so after another one is after painting and art, you guys cleaned up the entire floor so that custodians didn't have to clean it up. Oh my goodness. I love that. Thinking of others. That's also being proactive and that's being super kind and caring. The last one is students, students, that's a little typo, working hard all over the school. 
I've been seeing that. I know other staff have been seeing that. And there's, we are seeing you focused in your learning. So lots and, of cool stuff. And staff. We'd love for you to populate our People Have Noticed Awesomeness page for next week. So if you see things that you think are worth noting, just send a quick email to myself or Ms. Prudum and we will get this up here and points will be awarded. Yay. Good morning, everyone. This is Mrs. Borns. And I just wanted to clarify that it was Mr. Larson's class who thanked me for purchasing all or helping to purchase for the school of the books. Oh. So it was Mr. Larson's class and they gave me a huge thank you. And they were really excited about the book. So it was 4L that thanked me. 4L, well done. Thank you so much. Thank you for that clarification, Mrs. Borns. Okay, here we go. So here are some more, like just examples of awesomeness around the school. And then we're gonna go into other quick photos. So I have noticed the 4L class every day when they come in, they have an incredible reading habit. They are focused, they have reading stamina, they are showing zest and a love for reading and they're making such good choices. It is dead silence, like beautiful silence and reading in their class every day. And so I talked to them about this and they're just amazing and awesome. They got some points. Uh, so please, if, if you can, let's give them a clap or a cheer. Okay, each time we celebrate here, some of these examples. Mr. Hennig, have you seen reading around the school too? Like lots Oh my goodness, there's so much good reading in small groups and at your desks and on your own and with others. Reading is so powerful. It opens up the worlds of imagination and information for us. So good job on the awesome reading. And we've got awesome character. I already mentioned that with some guest teachers. And here's a little capture of these guest teachers. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, work with these kids in math, or I think it was, I can't remember, I think that was science with Mrs. Smallwood and math with Mrs. Price. So just really good, awesome characters, CIA points there. And every time we have substitute teachers in the building, thank them because they are our critical helpers. When, when teachers can't be here, they come in and pick up the lessons and take care of us. Just treat them like, like, the royalty they are because they are amazing. Thank you to our substitute teachers. Yes, thank you. And substitute assistants, their guests. Of course, yes. Okay, and then just a few pictures of awesome joy for learning. And so having, having joy in learning, you're gonna have zest for learning and trying new things and working with others. Sometimes you might have innovation and it's also kindness, kindness to yourself, sometimes kindness to others, kindness to your brain to give it, you know, all of that learning and new, new ideas. And so, hey, well done. Everybody give some claps for all of these incredible ideas. <gasps> and we just want to give you a quick update. Mr. Hennig talked about how it's character in action and being proactive, helping people in our community. Our total cash donation so far. Mr. Hennig, can you do a drum, drum roll? Okay, here we go. Our timing was off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already almost $1,000 has been raised online. That doesn't include what's come in, the little bit of cash that's come in. We prefer to do it online, but the little bit's come in on cash plus the food that's come in. This is amazing, people. Wow. Good job, Cooper's Crossing. Wow, everybody cheer. Woo! And we still have another week. Okay, yeah. Here we go. <gasps> and here we go. Now this is the drum roll, the point so far. Course, we're looking for kindness and innovation and character in action and integrity and good choices and zest. So here we go. Hey, super silent. Boom. Whoa. Whoa, look at those points. Mr. Hennig, the polite penguins are in the lead and they're almost at 10,000 points. That's amazing. Wow. But look how close everybody is. Wow. Everybody's over 8,000 points. That's so much awesomeness in our school. And that's what it's all about. It's not about who's best or who's most because people are all doing different things at different times. It's about our total awesomeness, which the total this week is. Here we go. This is pretty crazy. Big number. Whoa. 26,600 points of awesomeness at our school so far. This is amazing, spectacular. Well done, everybody. 
All right, so something that we miss out on when we are in our classroom cohorts during COVID is of course going around the school a lot more, right? So I took time to try to imagine if we were to walk around the school. So here we go. We're just gonna share some photos, sit back and relax. Let's take a gallery walk around the school and see what's happening. All right, so dance has started as many of you know. So here are some pictures, lots of fun activities with our dance uh, activities on the screen. Mr. Hennig, we could just take turns. You wanna say the Dude, next That's one? awesome, just check out all of the amazing art. I love the glasses in the top left corner and look at the shoes and legs and the, oh, those look like Northern Lights and big lobby things in the middle. It's mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And some more fun in gym time. Uh, and so, you know, gym is all about helping our bodies and, our, and also our mind. And so whether you're dancing or doing a warm up, and some people might still be doing other activities, uh, we love seeing you being active with your body. And music classes. We've changed a little it up in 2021. Mrs. Tadosika isn't coming to classrooms as much. She's using some of her music room and some of the presentation area outside of her music room. We're making sure everything's nice and clean in between kids coming and going. But it's a different space. I hope you're having fun. I know Mrs. Tadosika is really appreciating having her own space again. We want to thank her for how much she worked in the fall of moving class to class to class. That was really hard. She never complained. She was so happy to still teach you music. Just next time you see her, say thank you for that. You know what, Mr. Hennig? I'd like to give her character and action points. I think we need to because that was an amazing feat for her to accomplish. Let's everybody cheer for Mrs. Toto Sika. Woo! <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, more amazing artists. So just seeing art around the school is such, like it just fills my heart. I love art. Um, and so these are from grade five. And then on the right, these are beautiful watercolor paintings with Anukshuks from 2F. Wow, like this looks like an art gallery. It does. And then we have amazing learners. Look at what's happening. We see some social studies with a timeline of Canada. We see some great journal entries and story writing and building STEM activities and math manipulatives and even some exercising to keep our bodies and our minds active. That's excellent job, everybody. And mathematicians and scientists in grade one. So here's some pictures of color mixing and grouping. Wow, using whiteboard markers and also manipulatives. You guys look like you are really serious learners. Well done. That's amazing. Great art still. Oh, catching snowflakes on tongues. I love it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Beautiful stuff. Oh, beautiful paintings in the middle there too with, with trees and it looks like Northern Lights again. Yeah, that was 4B and then we have 3RY. Three, three and I think, hmm, I can't remember. Is that a grade one or two class um, in the bottom left corner outside of Mrs. Frank's room? That's awesome. It's one, two, C. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. All right. <sighs> Mr. Henning. Yes, we saw both Ms. Prudham and I got to visit. Uh, uh, Mrs. Ms. Miller's, Mrs. Miller's uh, science class where they were testing how fast different kinds of liquids would go down a ramp. It was like a race. And I think there were some surprises about what went quicker and what went slower. I know there were some surprises when I was there. So well done, grade 2M. Yeah, and then they recorded their observations. Very cool. Perfect example of science at work. And we got some grade fours with their masks nice and like great, like, like on, you know, well and perfect, covering their noses. And they're also doing partner work it, you know, throughout the school. And so it's just really neat to see kids in the hallways, uh, just brightening our hallways and, um, you know, livening up our school. It's nice to see. So thank you for your awesome work there. We have lots of fun at school too. Even cleaning up some water for Mrs. Taylor. Just take a look at the pictures. It's amazing. Oh, and there is Luna, our new rabbit. Yeah, in 4L. And then we have some grade fives that we're making uh, a video. Uh, we've got um, st our student teacher teaching. It looked like that's part of their artwork that they were doing, uh, learning maybe about 
was it rocks amethyst um mr russ or if someone from 3rd do you want to was that was that correct you were studying rocks sorry miss richter's coming oh mrs richter yes that would be great Richter, hello miss richter yeah we were studying rocks so we painted geodes i knew it yeah. <laughs> excellent. excellent that is awesome and then we have Mrs. Renault in her super cool office when she does online learning support. She's helping online kids and Mrs. Bournes putting up that beautiful display of art. So lots going on in the school, everybody. Well done. Oh, announcement time. Mrs. McKinnon, this is your team. Here we go. How are you, Mrs. McKinnon? Okay. Okay. You start the camera. Okay. Here are the Days this week, Sophia, Four L, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Mrs. Smith, Caden, Caden, Five I, Gabriella, Gabriella, Gabriella Four B, Mizey, Mizey, Five S, Kara, Kara, Four B, One B, One B, and then you take over, Chet, Mrs. Sash. Mrs. Sashuk. Avery. Avery in 4B, Allison in 2F, Colson in 3RD, and Rhett in 12C. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. And for those of you who don't know, Mrs. Sashuk's one of our assistants in our preschool class, our PIP class. Please be a member to recycle and reduce your garbage to help our planet. Thank you for your hope to make a difference in the world. Please place your recycling bins outside your room today for pickup. Oh, and you already gave a total, Mr. Hennig, but I'm really happy and I don't know if, if students remember last week, I said that every dollar that we raise in money equals $5 that the food bank can, can turn into food. So we've probably raised close to $1,000, including the cash that's gone to the office. So if we round it up to $1,000 and we multiply that by five, that means $5,000 worth of food that the food bank can turn around and, and use to buy food. So that is a lot of money and a lot of food and there's still more coming. So I'm very proud of all of you and very happy with the results so far. Keep it up. That is so awesome. Okay, we're gonna do this together. Proactive steps are good to take. I'm in charge of the choices I make. Be proactive, be the best you can be. You're in charge of you and I'm in charge of me. That's awesome. Next week is Literacy Week, everybody. And here's a sneak peek. That rhymes, we can peek. Nice job. And sneak. So on Tuesday, we have a special guest coming. Her name is Sherry Fitz. She's going to be Zooming. She lives in Nova Scotia on the far side of Canada, but she's going to be with us in Zoom. And we are going to be able to learn from her. She's been writing books for 30 years, I think, for a long, long time. And her books are amazing. She's one of my favorite children's authors. And she's, sorry, I Miss Prudem, can you talk about classroom choice challenges? Yeah, there's gonna be, as you can see on the top right corner here, just a little peek, a sneak peek. There is a choice board that every teacher is going to have and decide what kind of special activities. You can just do one, you can create your own, you don't have to do any of the ones that we've made, but there's some fun challenges for literacy uh, during this week to try. And so, and then the teachers will hand in what they've tried uh, into the office and then we're going to be giving points so after literacy week mr hennig i have a feeling we're going to have a crazy amount of points in the school i think so too that's too fun <laughs> mr hennig now will end our time in connection time today by reading a little excerpt from sherry's books and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just say before i like i stop my screen i'm going to say have an awesome day everyone and here we go mr hennig so I'm going to read a poem called Spreading Honey. 
and I'm holding up the picture. You can see here the picture of honey dripping on somebody's head and his tongue is out licking. Here's what, how it goes. What I love about Sherry Fitch is she plays with language. It's almost like tongue twisters. How do you get the honey from the bottle to the bread without the bottle slipping honey dripping on your head? How do you get the honey from the bread to your tummy? It's yicky and it's sticky, but it's sweet and it's yummy. Well, how do you get the honey from the bottle to the bread without the bottle slipping honey dripping on your head? You whirl it, you twirl it, you lick it up quick. Then you ask your mummy for a honey stick. That's how you get the honey from the bottle to the bread without the bottle slipping honey dripping on your head. <laughs> that was awesome. You did a great job. I was imagining trying to read that. <laughs> Can everyone give Mr. Hennig a clap? Wow. He's so a on Monday and Tuesday during announcement time, we'll read two more poems, one poem each day, so that you get a sense of what Sherry Fitch does. And I hope you like playing with language too. Yeah, we look forward to seeing if you guys, if any of you classes out there end up doing some neat things with words and language and tongue twisters, let us know. We look so forward to meeting Sherry Fitch, Mr. Hennig on Tuesday morning. It's going to be so cool. Uh, for teachers out there, if on Monday you're having any technical issues, let me know and we can set you up in the gym or some other place. We, we got to think of stuff like that to make sure you can see Sherry Fitch. Also, if there's any technical issues on Tuesday, we will record it. And so we will be able to see it another time if there's anything not working during that time. Thank you, everyone. Have an awesome day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Make it awesome. Make it awesome. Feel free to unmute and say goodbye if you'd like. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.